and our next class in the ring is going to be our final class of 4-H Market Hogs. This is going to be class 6 4-H Market Hogs weighing 267 to 278 pounds. And for selection of champion and reserve champion 4-H Market Hogs. First and second place Market Hogs from each class, please come to the ringside. Cheyenne Ramos and Madison Pierce, please make your way to the ringside with your hogs. Cheyenne Ramos and Madison Pierce from Class 5, please make your way to ringside.
well, our sixth and final 4-H market class, and, and it's been fun. There's lots of quality that we've, we've got to see throughout the day. Uh, uh, I think we wind up with a really nice class, and in this particular class, I think uh, the quality is very, very consistent all the way, uh, all the way on, on down. There's uh, very, very close placings throughout. I do think, however, there's a very easy place to start with. That's the pig directly here in front of me, the young lady with the red stick hat. Congratulations, you brought a nice project to spare. And, and in this class, not, not only is he the most highly presented to you, but he's just the most eye-catching. You study him from the side, this is really a, a dynamic profiling kind of a pig. He grabs your attention right off the bat. He's tall shoulder, he's really level design. You get in front of him and behind him, he's got plenty of product, he's got plenty of muscle shape, really fresh in his look, and, and you can tell he's, he's been uh, prepared really well. Congratulations to you, young lady. You brought a great project to the fair. I think, I think between second and third it becomes a far uh, closer decision. I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and use the, the barrel that the young man has in second and, and, uh, and I think it's very, very close, but uh, I, just I just thought the young man's barrel steady was just a little bit more uh, in terms of center body. He's a deeper flank, softer sighted kind of a pig and, and, and perhaps as well he has maybe just a, a slight advantage in terms of base width when you study him compared to the third place pig. Our young, our young lady's third place hog over here, young lady with a white stick. Not to take anything away from your project, you brought a, a really nice skill to the fair as well. I don't think she studied with, with as much uh, in terms of center body. Maybe it's just a little bit frailer in her, in her bone work as well compared to the two that place above her. What I really like about your pig is the muscle shape. I think uh, you maybe even have a, a slight advantage in terms of muscle shape over the pig that places directly above you. So uh, a, a great uh, top three. Congratulations to all three of our exhibitors here on the top end. Our uh, red spotted pig, the young lady, brings us out here in fourth is one that we also have to admire the, the body and just the practical look that this guy brings us also. He's a sound moving, big body kind of a pig. Looks like he's been really efficient for the young lady. I'm sure he's been an easy project to grow and, and, uh, and so forth. As we start analyzing him and really get critical of, towards our top end, there's not as much muscle shape in this guy, not as much just look and, and, uh, and correctness to build all the way throughout, but still a very nice pig. Uh, same kind of story with our other red belted hog that comes out. I didn't feel like the young man's red belted barrel uh, maybe had just as much overall in terms of center body and just overall product. Maybe it's the picture places directly above it. Still, it's the same kind of a hog as far as being really practical, really functional, something you can be proud of. Our uh, belted tape that comes out next, the young lady brings us one that maybe has a notch more shape than, uh, and maybe cutability even as well than the two red hogs that place above it. I didn't see as much product in this guy. You get behind him, he's not as wide coming at you, or coming at you and going away from you. Maybe he just doesn't have quite as much uh, center body and, and just overall product in him as well, but still a very nice pig. Our young man comes out with another high cut ability, kind of a belted haul. If we can give this one some more width and just product, he can move on up. We've got our, our, uh, our black pig the young lady comes out with. This is one of our, our better hogs that's been on down the way. As far in terms of a hog that's still being really practical, Looks like a hog that's done well and, and grown well for her. And the hog we're going to wind the class up with, young man's white pig, one that, that's uh, just very devoid in terms of muscle and product. If we can give this, uh, this hog some more width and muscle, uh, definitely one we could, we could move on up into the market ready category. Unfortunately today, he just doesn't have enough for us to go ahead and call him market ready. Congratulations to all the kids as they exit. And the results for Class 6 4-H Market Hogs weighing 267 to 278. First place, Shelby Figueroa, Kentucky Flat 4-H. Second place, Nathaniel Wormuth, Penn Valley 4-H. Third place, Sabrina Fisher, Kentucky Flat 4-H. Fourth place, Casey, Casey Richards, Chicago Park 4-H. Fifth place, Keith Ward, Rough and Ready 4-H. Sixth place, Elizabeth Enke, Metal Arts 4-H. Seventh place, Nathaniel Ward, Rough and Ready 4-H. Eighth place, Ariana Wall, Clear Creek 4-H. And ninth place goes to Gavin Homer, Independent. Nevada County Farm Supply has been part of the agricultural scene since 1993. Their staff consists of a certified crop advisor, licensed pest control advisor, and irrigation auditor. In Penn Valley, they have a full-service nursery with over 500 varieties of plants and garden enhancements. In Grass Valley, they have a warehouse full of soil amendments, fertilizers, and nutrients. Nevada County Farm Supply. Powerful knowledge and innovative solutions. Anything Green Hydroponics is your source for hydro systems, grow lights, and soils. 
Anything Green offers a complete range of organic nutrients as well as fungicides, miticides, and predatory bugs. Anything Green Hydroponics has just received this year's soil. Get your totes, pallets, or individual bags. Stay tuned for future workshops. It's all at Anything Green Hydroponics. Grass Valley Hay and Feed Supply is dedicated to the health of your pets and livestock. They offer the top brands of nutrition and carry the complete line of products from Bar Ale and Purina Animal Feeds along with Diamond and Canaday. They carry rice and wheat hay bales for your gardening needs as well as alfalfa, grass hay and grain for your livestock. It's Grass Valley Hay and Feed Supply, supporting Nevada County agriculture since 1992. The FFA Champion Market Hog will receive a plaque sponsored by Sylvia Crane and a banner sponsored by Ed Moana Mertens of Farmers Insurance. The, F the 4-H Reserve Champion Market Hog will receive a banner sponsored by Ed and Wanda Mertens of Farmers Insurance. Let's have a big round of applause for our sponsors for helping us pick out. great time evaluating the 4-H kids and it's been a, a really a quality show all the way throughout. Let's give all these kids out here that have won their class a big hand. It's, uh, it's really been, uh, been quite fun and, and, uh, and I think that uh, the quality throughout the, the day has just been uh, been very, very good. Uh, I think in the 4-H show here, uh, you know, we've got all these class winners out here and, and hopefully they represent, uh, you know, hopefully
honestly, they look they, they look all, all very very similar uh, to me. I, I think they really uh, they really do, and, and to me they really represent uh, uh, hops that uh, that I think uh, are, are where we're where we're headed as industry, where we are as an industry in terms of their muscle to fat ratio, in terms of, of their structure, and in terms of the way they 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 move around the ring, and, and just uh, just their overall look. I'm very very pleased with uh, with all of them, uh, and every class winner on down the line. I've talked about all the hubs uh, throughout the day in the in their respective classes, and and I guess in my mind I think it's a very very tough decision. And I think there's three hogs out here that really need to be uh, be highly considered uh, for the champion 4-H market hog, and in no particular order that one of them's definitely got to be the Duroc out here. The young lady's got. I think this guy's got lots of uh, really good pieces, and and uh, he's just a really uh, functional, practical kind of a pig. Now you get him out here, you start uh, studying him and comparing him to, to what else we've got to pick from. I don't think there's as much muscle shape. I don't think there's as much just uh, maybe just ultra pretty wow factor that he has. But but uh, at the end of the day, this is a really solid hog. There's no holes in him. He's, he's sound. He's square. Uh, just a, a really nice kind of a market hog. Another one that definitely is in contention is our pick. The ones our last class at the Belted Hog the Young Lady Show. He's one that, uh, and from a design standpoint, from the size, really got to like the look that this guy has. And, and the other attribute that I think he really excels in is he's really, really fresh in terms of his composition. Get behind him and on top of him, you can tell he's been very well prepared. He's, he's, he's been fed really well. He's been managed really, really well. I don't think that he's bulletproof. I think you get behind him and I, I think you study the way he travels off his rear legs. We definitely need to change him in that, uh, in that, uh, that aspect. He needs to be a lot wider as he travels away from you. He needs to come at you a lot wider, and I'd also like to stout him up in his skeleton just a little bit. And that's being really picky, really critical of a really nice pig. But in terms of composition and, and freshness, that's what they need to look like. I love the top side of this pig. Then I think our other pig we have to uh, really consider is the blue butt, the young man with the, with the orange stick has out here. Uh, another one that, uh, that also really just catches your eye. Uh, you talk about picking a champion, and, and we've got great pigs all day. Uh, the, the pigs that, uh, that really catch your eye, no doubt, the black pig and the blue pig out here. And so I think it becomes very, very challenging. Our blue pig, we got to really, really admire the stoutness of skeleton in this one. Where I definitely want to change her, I want to make her stronger on her passion. She wants to get a little bit down in, in that category. And I'd also like to see her just a little bit heavier uh, in terms of weight. She's coming in at the 240 range, which is uh, a little bit light uh, for today's standards. But, uh, uh, that being said, I think it's very, very close, and, and there's give and take. I think you could have five different judges out here. You might have, uh, you might have five different champions because they're all very, very close. The one that for me, I think, just quality, the way they're put together, just the the, the hope that brings forth the absolute most in terms of uh, quality. The blue butt here could be the champion. Congratulations.
right now. We've got four different entries, and and, uh, and all four groups really bring uh, bring forth some really nice uh, picks. Our champion group is going to be the group right here in front of me, uh, here in the middle on this side. Congratulations, guys! Uh, they just, uh, I think they just they're the most quality of this group. They uh, they're all hogs. They did well throughout the day. They all got lots of muscle, and they're very uniform in terms of their composition. You can tell they really put lots of time and, and effort into it. And then from there, I think the other two groups really get a lot closer. But our reserve champion group is going to be the group over on this side, a uh, group of the Durock. And let's give them a big hand as well. Maybe not quite as just consistent as far as the muscle goes, but uh, as far as the rest of the body goes, really consistent, practical meat kind of things that the kids should be very proud of. And it's really, really close between third and fourth. I think uh, very, very close. The group uh, that's going to be third, though, is the group right here in front of me. Uh, congratulations to you guys. Not as much muscle maybe as the groups that above you, but uh, uh, but very, very good. And I think there's just a little more product in this group. Uh, our, our group that's fourth, uh, not to take anything away from you guys, let's give them a big hand as well. they got a great consistent group also. Congratulations, everyone. And the best 4-H club group of hogs goes to Kentucky Flat 4-H. And they're going to win a pack sponsored by My Dog Stanley. Second place county group goes to Meadowlarks 4-H. Third place, Chicago Park 4-H. And fourth place, Clear Creek 4-H. And our next class is going to be the competition for the best county group of hogs between Kentucky Flat 4-H and well, our, our best of county group of five is, is no doubt a very close decision, and, and I think the, the, the difference is there's just one group that uh, all five pigs in both groups really have lots and lots of quality. I think there's one group that has more product, and maybe just because they're bigger hogs, uh, the quality is very, very similar, but I think there's just more product in, in, in the FFA hogs. They're your champions. Congratulations, guys. And the Best County Group of Hog Award goes to Nevadian FFA. And they will receive a plaque sponsored by Tom and Cindy Browning. Nevada County Farm Supply has been part of the agricultural scene since 1993. Their staff consists of a certified crop advisor, licensed pest control advisor, and irrigation auditor. In Penn Valley, they have a full service nursery with over 500 varieties of plants and garden enhancements. In Grass Valley, they have a warehouse full of soil amendments, fertilizers, and nutrients. Nevada County Farm Supply, powerful knowledge and innovative solutions. Anything Green Hydroponics is your source for hydro systems, grow lights, and soils. Anything Green offers a complete range of organic nutrients as well as fungicides, miticides, and predatory bugs. Anything Green Hydroponics has just received this year's soil. Get your totes, pallets, or individual bags. Stay tuned for future workshops. It's all at Anything Green Hydroponics. Be sure to join us each week right here on NCTV Channel 11 at 6.30 to 7.30. And of course on our YouTube channel, The Food and Farm Show.